Welcome to Avenue. This is the student video. This video will help link students with the new changes as the EduLink courseware moves to a new website, avenue.ca, a new and improved version of our learning management system. Go to the Avenue site at avenue.ca. That's A V E N U E. Dot CA. The login screen appears. Your username is now your email address. Your teacher will provide your password. You can no longer change your password, so remember it and protect it from others. Ask your teacher for help if you cannot fix a login problem. The Avenue portal appears. The top links include Classroom, Links, and Logout. Click on the Classroom link to go to your courses. The first screen you see is called the Dashboard. On the left side of the Dashboard is a menu known as the Navigation Drawer. To hide the navigation drawer, click on the vertical ellipsis icon. To show the navigation drawer, click on the vertical ellipsis icon. The navigation drawer includes many site administrative features, including the calendar, your private files, a My Courses link, as well as an Add a Block function that is hidden. To add more blocks to your dashboard, click on the Customize This Page button. The Add a Block link appears at the bottom of the navigation drawer. A pop-up appears. There are more than 15 different blocks that you can add to your dashboard. At this time, we will just close the Add a Block pop-up. To return to the dashboard, Click on the Stop Customizing This Page button. Just to the right of the Avenue logo is a notifications icon. It looks like a bell. Notifications allow you to know if you have different kinds of notices, such as an upcoming assignment, a new forum post, a graded assignment, or feedback from your instructor. Click on the notifications icon to see any notifications. In this example, there are none. If you have notifications, the number of notifications appears above the icon. Just to the right of the notifications icon, we see the messaging icon. Click on it, and it opens the messaging drawer. To customize the messaging drawer, click on the Actions menu icon. The messaging drawer has many settings to control who can send you a message. If you want email notifications, with email notifications, you can receive a message when you are offline. And if you want to use the enter key to send a message. The messaging drawer replaces the EduLink courseware messaging block. To see messages in different categories, click on Starred, Group, or private. You can close the messaging window by clicking on the messaging drawer icon. To the right of the messaging icon, notice the logged in area. You can click on your name or avatar to open a drop down menu. If you are working in a course, it is a fast way to go to your profile page. You will also see the messages page where you can contact your classmates and teacher, the preferences page, and a logout option. Note that this area now allows you to check your overall grades. These options are available to you from anywhere in the Avenue classroom. At the top right of the screen, you can choose FR to change to French content. To return to English, click on the EN icon. You can see your courses in the navigation drawer and in the recently accessed courses box. 
the course overview. This section will show the course or courses that you are enrolled in. Courses can be displayed as a card, a list, or as a summary. At the top of the navigation drawer, you can see links to the course calendar and to your private files. Let's go into this course by clicking on the course name in the navigation drawer. Notice that the contents of the navigation drawer have changed. Course participants, badges, and grades are all listed there. If you move to the right side of the screen, past the course topics, you see the courseware help block. This used to be located on the left side of the course. Click on the picture to get tips on using the link courseware. In this video, we are using a sample link 3 course. Not much has changed on the course page. Notice in the breadcrumbs menu, the course link now follows the dashboard link. Let's have a look at the editing toolbar. These are used in assignments, forum posts, and blogs. We will now look at a blog post toolbar by selecting blog, add a new entry. Not much has changed except the look of the editing icons. The show more icon has changed from two rectangles to an arrow. The show more icon allows you to have more editing choices. If you need help with the editing tools, you can talk to your teacher or classmates to learn more. And remember that these icons are the same in any activity or resource that you will find in a text editing window on the Avenue courseware. Thank you very much for watching this video, and we wish you all the best with the new and improved Avenue courseware.